Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Really wet day today here in Vancouver. Um, I was about to do a core workout and I thought maybe some of you would want to do it with me. So I'm just going to show you what the exercises are before we do it so you know what's coming up. So first one, you're going to have your knees over your hips, drop them to the side, and you're just reaching up to touch your ankle. So the next one we're going to do after that is going to be a dead bug. So it's opposite arm and leg, abs are really, really tight. And then we're going to do that other one on the other side. And then you're going to let your knees come right down to the ground. We'll be doing an oblique crunch. You're going to come to center, hands under your hips, drop the legs as low as you can. Flutter kick, if you start to feel your back, bring the legs up a little higher. We're going to do oblique crunches on the other side. And then the last three exercises we're going to be doing a jackknife, so you're on your side, hips and shoulder are stacked, and you're just coming up, upper and lower body. If you start to feel your back, just do the upper body side crunch. And the next one after that, you're going to do a V-sit, so you're going to sit back nice and tall, long to the spine, and you're going to go side to side, kind of like you're rowing a boat, and then finally it's going to be side jackknife. Okay, so those are the exercises. We're going to do them for 30 seconds each. I'm going to do them with you. So come on down to the floor and get ready. Remember that first exercise. Arms out, knees over hips, drop it to one side. Getting ready to go in three, two, and one. Here we go. We'll reach up. So as you're reaching up, nice big exhale. Keep your abs tight. You should be feeling this in the oblique. So you're feeling it right around here. Remember to breathe. abs tight the whole way. You have about 10 more seconds and then we're going to do a dead bug. In three, two, one, dead bug, opposite arm and leg going down towards the ground. Make sure you're keeping your abs really tight so you're feeling this in the abdominals and not just the hip flexors. Keep breathing, head's resting on the mat. We've got about 10 more seconds here. In four, three, two, one. Knees over hips, let them come over to the other side and reach up. And we're gonna exhale as you're coming up. Abs are staying tight the whole time. Good job. So coming up after this one, it's gonna be that oblique crunch. We've got about 10 more seconds here. In four, three, two, one. Knees to the side, oblique crunch. Now if you're doing this and you're starting to feel your back a little bit, here's an option. Cross one leg over and do a cross crunch instead. So you're still targeting the obliques. It just might be a more comfortable position for you. Exhale when you come up, abs tight, almost there. Flutter kick is coming up next. In three, two, and one. Hands under your hips, lower your legs and kick. So the lower you go, the more intense it's gonna be. But if you start to feel your back, you guys, bring those legs up a little higher. Bend the knees a bit if you need to. Keep breathing, abs tight. Got about another 10 seconds here. Then you're ready for that oblique crunch on the other side in three, two, and one. Knees to the other side, oblique crunch. Exhale when you come up. Keep your abs tight, don't let them go. Coming up after this, we've got that side jackknife. Last 10 seconds. In four, three, two, one. On your side, hips and shoulders stacked, arm up for balance, side bend. So remember you guys, if you start to feel this in your low back, leave your legs on the ground and just do the upper body side bend. Still targeting the obliques. Big exhale when you come up. 
Keep your abs tight. We're almost there. Next one coming up is that V sit. And here we go. Set yourself up in your V sit, nice and tall, shoulders down, and when you're ready, side to side with the arms like you're rowing a boat. Keep your abs tight. You start to feel your back sit up a little taller. If you can challenge yourself a bit more, you can take your feet off the ground. It's an option. Five, three, two, and one. Other side, side jackknife. Last exercise, you guys. Abs tight. Exhale to come up. Good work. going. Last 10 seconds. Last four. Three, two, and one. And done. So that was about four and a half minutes. If you wanted to, you could repeat it as many times as you like. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, leave a comment below.